All right, so man, here we go. Here is your setup. I'm super excited to mess with it um, to show you how it works. All right, so really we have the, a couple pages to work with. It's really, really simple. Um, first page is gonna be your presets page. So your preset one, two, three, four, five, and six. Up here, do different functions, which we'll talk over. This one right here goes to your tuner, so you can mute and you can do your tuning. Click it again, you're un unmuted, obviously. This guy, it will be labeled, it'll say bloom. When you click it, you'll actually see the bloom will turn on. You got the MIDI mode right here, yellow will be MIDI mode. It will say P1, which means page one MIDI mode or MIDI scrolling. And this will say P1 uh, loops. So you can go to loops and you can turn everything on. So as you can see, you got nothing. As soon as we turn on the timeline, and I will do a pattern delay so you can hear the beautiful um, stereo. So really simple, that's how you can actually go ahead and press on just switches to actually build presets, which I have a whole video on and I will show you. So you can manually select on pedals that you want, you can add the pog, and just different stuff that you actually want to mess with and turn on um, through, through, through your playing. <laughs> Toss, Julia, Big Sky. So as you can see, there's a lot of options and a lot of different things that you can do to trigger different pedals and combinations, like the Sabi actually turns on the loop and which color you're on. Um, I'll be making a page so you can hold down the Sabi switch and it'll actually let you access the four different uh, types of distortion, the four different types of drive, as well as the gain cycling. So depending on what you know sound you want, you have those extra customized options as well as that same page will probably it'll be more of a switches page we'll have the red remote that you can access um anything else you need is going to be on the midi page which this switch right here is your save and home switch so if you hold for about two seconds it'll store so when you're in your loops page anytime you want to go back to home just click the red switch so if we go to the midi page i try to do it as much to as color as possible so we got the quartz so you can go through the quartz presets big sky presets the timeline presets this is the bloom so if the bloom was on you can actually see it's switching through the colors the different types of modes um, then we got the gravitas you can see the led is lighting up as well as the pog too so it'll go through all your pog settings um, same thing go applies here is any pedal you want to tweak and save a setting you save it on the pedal this just recalls the, the PC number. So we can go back to one preset, go to loops, say, oh yeah, I want the, you know, the big sky and I want the timeline on. And this is the cool thing is you can play around with sounds when you're playing live you can go presets for stacking and everything but if you're playing at home or you're in practice you're like oh man i really want to mess with you know that preset and so you find whichever preset and you hit loops you'll see those two loops around you could add to julia <laughs>
drive. Yeah, different drive. Take out the reverb. The thing is, is like for a lot of these pedals, like if you're gonna leave the big sky always on, you can actually go into the loops page um, in like the audio section of the editor and actually lock loop 10 always on so you don't have to worry about for every preset turning on the big sky because I'm gonna assume reverb is gonna probably stay on pretty much the whole time. It does for me. I don't even have a switch to turn it off. I only have a switch to scroll through my presets. With the bloom, same setting, it's on the first page, so you can add it if you want to bring it in. And uh, you can add in the EQ and the bloom settings in that page that we talked about where you can actually add them in and do MIDI boost. Um, the prism is the first thing in your chain so you'll kind of fine tune your settings and everything from there which is the best way to do it. Then over here we have the bank switch so it's as simple as banking up, banking down, selecting the page you want. Uh, the cool thing is is this um, also, if you hold down the switch, like if you program the hold down switch can actually do a secondary function. Same with all these. It's just a matter of going and programming it. So if you decide you want this to be the tuner or like a hold on the big sky, like I do like a freeze hold, you could hold this down and it could do like a trail, like a pad kind of thing. So there's a lot of programming you can do on this kind of stuff. It's just a matter of doing it. All right, so talking over how to build a preset. It's really simple. You're literally, all you're gonna do is find a preset you want. So we'll do preset one. So for that, you're gonna want, say, the bloom on. So you can turn the bloom on. We'll go to the loops page right here and say, I want the big sky and I want the timeline on, okay? Real, real simple. We'll turn the timeline on. Go back to home, go to the MIDI page, and you're like, okay, so I got the timeline. I wanna make sure I have I don't know, whatever, you got a lot of digital stuff. I do a lot of digital stuff, so we'll do this. Oh, we'll find something that's... Okay, so you got this verby thing. Okay, so we got this verby thing going on. It's very much going on. I like that because this is draw. We're gonna go with that. So say so you pick that. I like the reverbs too. They sound really good. So we'll find like a really good reverb. So say that is like you, you want that to be your swell patch. All you do so you pick your algorithms that you wanted. Hold this down for about two seconds and it's stored. So you go to something else. You've got nothing. As soon as you go to preset two or preset one. preset two, obviously nothing. So that's how you build a preset. It's a matter of selecting your preset, two, going to the loops page, selecting your loops, three, going to your MIDI page and selecting which MIDI presets you want if you're using a MIDI device. And then it'll be four is actually going to the switches page, um, which I'm probably gonna move um, to about here and put the tuner down here as a hold. Um, allowing you to go to your switches page will have your Asabi, your Kilt, and uh, your Bloom EQ and Bloom Boost settings. So those like those options to be able to go from all at once. So that's it. It's really, like I said, man, it's really simple. Um, you have your audition loop. It's on. So you can plug in your wah at any time. You don't have to push any switches or anything like that. It's good to go and you're ready to rock. Um, same thing with the four cable method with the Kempers or amps, whatever you're gonna run, you can do it from there. Um, 
like I said, to do the pog settings, it's a matter of finding the pog, which is red, picking which patch you want, holding save, and you're good to go. All right, man. See ya.